Okay, the next one is from Greg Musella. Hi, John. So Boss Logic says he's hearing whispers that Robert Pattinson may be in contention to be the next Batman. It would be a really out-of-the-box casting for sure. Do you think he could pull off Batman? And considering how negative people were about Affleck's casting, how do you think they'll respond to Pattinson? Thank you. All right, so for those who don't know, Boss Logic is a true, and there's the image that Boss Logic put together. Uh, Boss Logic oh, cool. is a treasure in the film fan community. And not just, he is a treasure in the film industry who's not in the studios anywhere. Right. Boss Logic is, I mean, when I think of, of guys who are just a treasure to the fan community, I think of John Schnepp and I think of Boss Logic. Uh, and of course, John Campia. So, no, really, it's just the two. And Boss Logic I is think one about of those. You, though. Well, thank you, Rob. I appreciate And I think about you. There we go. That's enough for today. Uh, <laughs> Han had it coming. So. Oh, you had to go there. So. Uh, Boss Logic, it, he was also now very plugged in. He's got studios inviting him to stuff all the time. Yeah. He has a lot of connections and stuff. So, look, I'm still qualifying this completely in the neighborhood of rumor. But because it's coming from a guy who is as positioned as a Boss Logic is, I think it at least makes it worth talking about. Still completely rumor. That's all we should treat it as. But interesting to talk about. Because here's the thing that I find most interesting about this. Is that Robert Pattinson... Now, I know there's a bunch of film fans out there who aren't really film fans. They're comic book movie fans only. Right. And <laughs> right. when they think of Robert Pattinson, all they think of is Twilight. That's it. And they're like, the Twilight guy, kind of like when they cast when uh, they cast Heath Ledger's Joker, the Brokeback Mountain guy. But there's a lot of people there. Robert Pattinson has stayed quite busy making incredible films, mm -hmm. showing off that he is a top 10 actor in the business today. Yeah. Make no mistake about it, Robert Pattinson is legit. Just watch Good Time. Just just watch any of the, the things Lost he's done. The Lost City of Z, too. Yes. Yeah. He's, he, whenever he's in anything, he delivers something spectacular in his performance. He is quite great. However, the email brings up a great point. Since there's a lot of people out there who have never watched anything that Robert Pattinson is in. <laughs> right. Their first reaction is going to be, the Twilight guy and Warner Brothers. This kind of came up on my open mic show the other day. Warner Brothers is still kind of reeling a little bit from the backlash they got when they cast Affleck, which, by the way, was a terrific casting. But a lot of people, Affleck, Ben Affleck, the guy was in Geely? Like, all that kind of stuff. They're still kind of reeling from that. And I got to admit, two things. One, there, you know me. I don't really care what act you put in as long as it's a really great, solid actor, blah, blah, blah. So if you, they announced Robert Pattinson as, as an ex-Batman, guess what? I'm going to go, okay, he needs about 14 months with a good Hollywood trainer, pack about 40 pounds on. Fine, yeah, he needs that if he's going to be Batman. But I'm totally good. From a talent point of view, I'm totally good if you put it there. But the other reality is this. I don't know the Warner Brothers who want to walk into that hornet's nest again. With that experience they had with the Ben Affleck casting, do they really? And with them trying to get everything back on track with with the DCU right now, do, with every, with there being some goodwill now, with Aquaman's success, Shazam looks like it's going to be stellar. we got Wonder Woman 84 coming out. Does Warner Brothers want to deal with another controversy in the hiring of Rob Pattinson, even if he'd be great in the role? I don't know, Robert. What do you think? Well, first of all, I, I think... Online controversy in the film community is such a small thing. We hear it because we're listening to it and it's really loud. But if you're going to complain because an actor was in a franchise that started more than 10 years ago, that, by the way, made a lot of money. <laughs> that was based on a huge series of novels. And this is also something that only dudes are objecting to. What about all the girls that love Robert Pattinson because of Twilight? Exactly. What about them? Yeah. <laughs> what about them who've come to... The, come to love genre cinema because of Twilight and because of those books. And now they're eagerly awaiting a Batman movie that has Robert Pattinson in it. It's only us, our inbred incel selves, man. We're the villains here. <laughs> we are the bad people. We grew up as nerds with our own, you know, little space that we hate that's gone mainstream. I call it the post-geek singularity. We all live in this mainstream world where all of us, all the film fans across the world, men, women, boys, girls, parents, grandparents, we're getting great stuff. And I think Robert Pattinson, watch Good Time. 
Watch, uh, watch Cosmopolis, David Cronenberg's film. Robert Pattinson's a great actor. He's also been, been working in the business now for almost two decades. Yeah, he's been around I mean, a while. he's been putting in his time. Why shouldn't he play Batman? He'd make a hell of a Batman. Bring it on. All you people that are going to get all triggered because of that, you are wrong. Now, I will say this. That doesn't mean I'm saying that Robert Pattinson is necessarily my first choice to play Batman. Nor do I am I suggesting it should be anybody's first choice sure. to play Batman. Nor am I saying that if you had like a top five and none of them were Pattinson and you just get upset that it's not one of your top five whether it was Pattinson or not, cool. That's part of being a fan. That That's great. All I'm trying to suggest, and I think what you're echoing as well, is that, hey, guys, if, it, if by whatever stretch of the imagination, and right now it is pure rumor, and I doubt they're going to do it because I don't think Warner Brothers wants any part of that right now, but... If they did announce him as as Batman, fine, be upset it's not your first choice. Be upset it's not one of the, the people you were really hoping it would be. But once you get over that, take a breath and go, well, we got one hell of an actor playing the role. We got one hell of an actor playing the role, and that can't be anything but good. So I, I'd be perfectly fine with it if they announced him. And also, remember, the, these decisions are not made in a vacuum. You know, he's going to get screen tested. He's going to get the executives are going to look at them and trust Matt Reeves. If you mm -hmm. like Matt Reeves and the films he makes and his past work, and I do very much, I trust him. Trust the filmmakers. Have they let you down? They got you Heath Ledger as the Joker. They got you Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. I know you were a little iffy on that, but she certainly proved her where, her merits. I don't know. Oh, we can debate that too. <laughs> but but I mean, look, they don't always get it. We we've had you know we've had Mary Jane Watson uh, was miscast. We, we I mean, it's happened. But this is a really good actor. So as long as it's a really good actor. Take some solace in that and just Absolutely. let it play out and see what happens. But anyway, that's just kind of my... I mean, and you know, if, if you've got... The, 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 here's, here's my thinking. Here's my thinking. If you don't like Robert Pattinson as Batman, but say the girl you want to talk to or take out does, <laughs> isn't it better that you like Robert Pattinson? Won't you learn a little bit more if you go that way? I would. Would you be down for Robert Pattinson? Yeah, but I've also seen a lot of movies... Other, with him. other than Twilight with right. him but um, yeah and also I think his look kind of goes along with Batman like at first I was like Ooh, and then I thought about it for a second and I was like he actually might be a great Batman yeah. um, despikey the hair de de spiky I mean, the hair him. a bit he kind and of looks like yeah I, I, I could see Bruce Wayne in there he could have been look at his jawline yeah. yeah come on again I, I still think comic book hero gotta pack about 40 pounds on him you, yeah. You, yeah you gotta get him into a trainer pack about 40 pounds on him blah blah, blah. again mm -hmm. not my first choice there are a lot of other there's about 15 20 actors you could listen to me that i go yep i'd be perfectly good with them as batman i'm just telling you robert pattinson is one of them i think he'd bring in a lot of people that might not necessarily see the movie like you'll have the, you'll have yeah, yeah you'll have yeah, the, batman the fans. twilight movies yeah exactly and then you'll have all these young kids who watch twilight wanting to see him in this not so, so young anymore oh god <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a little bit of an older 